Art has the fundamental concept that it involves the whole emotion. So I want you to experience something when you see a painting. It's no secret that art can be one of the best forms of expression. It's a doorway into an artist's soul, a way to share what sometimes words cannot. And for Henry Sally, this small studio in the back of his home in Lubbock is the perfect place to dip into his feelings and his emotions. I want you to see when this is finished that you're riding with him into the, going into the house now. This horse was killed by lightning a few months ago, and so it's a very precious painting, and so everything has to have an emotional impact of either color, style, uh, value, or something. Let me ask you this. I, I've asked this question of a lot of artists, and I've never gotten the same answer twice, so. I want to hear yours. Okay, I'll try. What is art? Art is the experience of life that you viewed and lived. Over the years, Henry's garnered quite a bit of attention and some notoriety for his art. His pieces have a unique way of drawing you in and making you ask, what's the story? And that's exactly what he says art is all about. To me, art's not just pretty pictures or anything. It's life to live with a vision of what's going on and who you are and what's the story, what's the story? So let me see what color we can select for you. But Henry's story doesn't stop with a finished canvas. He knows what art means, not only to himself. How's your muscles? We'll see. All right. We'll see. But also to people who you would never expect to wield a paintbrush. And so he spent years giving lessons to aspiring artists like Alfie, who can't communicate or create in a traditional way, making art all the more important in his life. Now, you see this dark right here? I want to make that the prominent one that comes right here. Alfie uh, has feeling in two fingers. We spent three or four years with an engineer to develop something that he could hold. And I can't make his fist, but it's something, something like that. And when he gets his head jerking, he can get his muscles going. His mother will move the board and change the angle and hold the board. And we spend four or five weeks on the painting. We have three or four hours at a session and he sells them and gives them away. With Henry's guidance, Alfie himself has become a bit of a celebrity in the art world. His pieces are sold worldwide, with one even going for $25,000 at an auction. But money is certainly not what Henry does this for. It's for that moment he gets to experience what beauty means to the people he works with. I have taken ugly objects that I use in some of my still lifes where um, special needs people and I'll let them interpret it and it becomes a lot more beautiful. So I think it is the I like to see the beauty they see and see what they are telling me about what their life is and I then try to help them paint that. Are we all about ready on the physical side with the colors? Henry loves more than anything working one-on-one -on -one with his students. But a couple of years ago, he started hosting weekly group classes. And that's where he sees real magic take place. I have people coming as far as 160 miles once a week. You did a good job on that. Very good, give me five. What do you think this experience does for their souls? 
What I see is people roll in with wheelchairs and they're silent and sullen and isolated. And in the experience of the class as they start talking about art, they start talking to each other, they giggle, they laugh, and they roll out with a painting of joy that they want to show to everybody. I think that's a description of what happens in every class, that something changes in those people. What color is this? Blue. Blue. All right. Yellow. How does it make you feel when those artists leave that evening and they've got a smile on their face? I uh, almost cry and it feels joyous. I can think of thousands of kids that are influenced and have made a difference. That I've been to their funerals even. So that, that the, went to one funeral and the pictures they painted were all over the church and all over the aisles and they used them in the procession. So I don't know, it makes a difference. You put a smile on there. Yes and put a meaning in their life is the main thing. Mm -hmm. there you go. It should look something like this. The light trickles over there, right? For so many people, art is a form of nourishment for the soul, and no one understands that quite like Henry Sally. His students have taken blank canvases and used them to communicate with a world that sometimes struggles to listen and he will continue to help share their stories one painting at a time. They're struggling with their struggle, they're accomplishing something, and they're achieving something that's exciting and creativity. So I go through the same process with them when I'm teaching them. And then it's kind of like a euphoria of a beautiful picture. All right, let's go uh, put the highlight right next to this black, dark one. Can you that see? Yeah, on both sides. Both sides. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.